We can just Fort Seven here. Welcome back. Well, oh, oh, look at all the yo's. And some quantums, right? No, that's a computer, isn't it? Um. Oh, no. The body can repair tissue damage, but still, too much radiation too quickly can prove fatal. Caution, grab one. Caution is recommended. Hi. Wrecked. All right, I'm gonna hold off a minute. Oh shit! <laughs> Bring it! What you got, Rocket Man? I don't think so. Ah, that's more of a problem. You're gonna mutate soon? Did I just show his like his teeth as like a separate entity? Well, well, well. Hey. You stop that, sir. <clears throat> oh. I guess that's kind of why they want you to take him with you. Isn't it? Because he's, like, readily available then. That's fair. Wunderbar. He exclaimed. With great relish. Nice. Also nice. <clears throat> oh, Palin Dance is here? Um, that's fine, I guess. No, it's not. He's not here. Distance would show. Curious. Missiles. Missile launcher. To which we say... Nope. Ooh, rat poison. What is that? Come on. Give me that cutting. It's a clipboard. Yes. More wood. More slaves for the lost pit. Hwah. 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 <coughs> if you get that reference, guys. Kudos to you. It's a very, very good D and D movie, sort of. It's not like licensed by D and D or anything. But it's a role-playing movie. Ooh, it's the assembly line for mini nukes. How freaking badass is that? Dude. Dude. Uh, <coughs> oh, okay. This is just another route. 
Right. It's like crates of mini nukes. I want them. Can I have them? Letting my AP come back up. There we go. One less fusion core, guys. How did I miss this part? I'm getting all a little derpy. A little derpy in my age. No, no, no. There's a computer somewhere in here. Bravo Team Testing Terminal. Okay. Things are getting tough around here. Brock has decided to stop using Onyx. No, <laughs> sorry. To split our men into two teams. I drew one of the short straws, so I ended up on M42, Fat Man Launcher Team. Well, most of my buddies are sitting pretty upstairs <coughs> with the T51B suits. Man portable mini nuke thrower that a trooper in the field is supposed to deploy at close range. I've even been I've been pouring over the schematics. I have no idea where how we're gonna get this thing to throw where we had far enough. Not to kill the soldier, unlucky enough to be stuck with these death traps. Okay. Should the warhead weight down as much as possible, but I think we're looking at this the wrong way. I know that means adding weight to the already heavy piece of ordnance, but I don't think we have any choice. I'm trying to extend the range. Uh, magnetics to push the warhead through like a rail gun. Power pack. Yeah, it'd be huge. Okay. Two good soldiers this morning. On the surface, testing the MERV variant of the launcher when one of the warheads misfired hit the ground right where they were standing. Yikes. We couldn't even find, couldn't even find remains <laughs> just to fill some cans with sand. Oh, God. That's like... That's messed up. Okay. Any of the night shift guys in the lab swept all their drawings on the f on the floor. Started sketching my idea. They must have thought I lost my mind. Six hours, about 14 cups of coffee later, and I had it all mapped out. We used a small subcharge as a launching catalyst to catapult the warhead from the launcher. We have plenty of range, and the subcharge would be built into the warhead itself. Rock seemed to like the plan, and we gave gave us the go-ahead to pro prototype the device. Can't wait to try it out. It's the better part of a year and over 100 test firings, but the M42 is ready to be shipped out in the field. Ready to... Wow, they, they missed the word in there. That's funny. I can't believe I spent over a year on this single project. I feel pretty good knowing we're... <coughs> Let's see. Sweet. Cool. Is it somewhere though? Like, is that in here somewhere? Probably not. It's, it's probably just a, a mention of what what we have now for usage. Eh. Painting. It's a cool painting, I guess. It's interesting. If nothing else. Well, no, not really, my dear. Oh, where is my paintbrush? Super gross, man. Um. There's a lot going on in this place. I must say... Here's, 
here's here's one of my questions too, right? Hypothet and I don't know what what's really going on here, but like the just as an example, uh, where's my where's my, where am I going? So like when you get into a place that's been abandoned for the two hundred years, right? The uh, issue, so to speak, I guess, is I don't know if pre-war they had the same drugs that they do now. 20 years is a long time. So, hypothetically, they do. It's just, it would just be the same. Bathroom. In the bathroom? Yep. It's a plunger. Purified water. That'll be pretty useful. Oh. It's labeled. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, Dance. He is in here. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, what the hell? Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Yeah, I'm curious about Why that. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend. A brotherhood night. Brotherhood night. So when you ask if yeah. I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this right. madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would what do the synths if would they do. never got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon mm -hmm. repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. Skynet. <laughs> uh, look, I don't need to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. I got gotcha. you. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxim. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Yeah, the vertebrate got blowed up, by the way. Blowed up. Yeah. We're out of time, guys. So in the next video, we will... I'm probably just going to... I'm going to lose the suit, uh, so to speak. I'm going to go drop it off the house and drop off all my, all my overweight gearing type stuff. Get rid of some stuff. Um, yeah. Till next time, Bowman Tuna. We'll see you next video.